I want to I want to do that part for just one second and talk about this thought, the thought that he came with religion and then culture formed around. I want to suggest that culture. So when we say brought a different culture, it means that it's replacing the existing culture, right? What I want to suggest is that the Prophet did not do such a thing. In fact, culture has elements, right? There's elements of the culture. So there's elements of the culture that the lens that we're talking about, that, what's your name? Ahmed? Right, what's your name? Ahmed? Alright. Ahmed is like praising all the time, and Ahmed is like someone who's destructive. So, yeah, my son's name is Ahmad. He's like the most destructive person in this year. And our mother means like one who builds everything. So, anyway, if you only knew how people acted before you knew, right? And a lot of us have that problem. Hopefully, I'm not going to have a person there. But, you know, a lot of people have it. So, anyway, so the process of he came with a lens. He didn't come with a culture. The process of came with a lens. And this is what divinity, this is what divine guidance is. Divine guidance isn't a strict set of rules or a strict way of life that comes and turns people's lives upside down, that comes and makes your whole life or life forbidden upon you. So you're living peacefully, and all of a sudden someone comes to you and says, you know what? Do you believe in God? Yes. Well, if you believe in God, you have to stop this, you have to stop that, you have to stop this, and now your whole life, all of a sudden, is forbidden upon you. And now we have to be a whole different person in you, right? That's not what the process is. There are some cases where that may have been the case. Like there are some cases, rare cases, where a person really had to change almost everything about their life or everything about his life. But those are rare cases. That's like a, a woman whose livelihood was based on prostitution, or a man whose livelihood was based on killing people, taking their money, and going to the next person, killing that person, taking his money, and so forth, right? So that person's life, like his daily actions, his daily daily being, the way he carried himself for 20 hours to 24 hours a day, may have been killing people and taking their wealth and being stern with people and mean to people so that he would make them afraid of him and give them wealth without even, you know, killing them. That person may have had to change everything. But the grand majority of people didn't have to change a whole lot. What they had to change, and I'll explain that later, is something very, very uh, particular that all of us need to examine, all right? All of us being Muslim and non Muslim, those of us who claim Islam and have been raised to believe that what we're practicing is genuine Islam, and those of us who don't really know a whole lot about Islam, alright? Now, let me go back to what that lens is. So, what he came with was a way to look at everything. He didn't come with a way to do everything. He came with a way to look at everything. And that way to look at everything was is that something that God would love? Or is that something that God will need? It's a lens. It's a game. He came with basically a paradigm shift for human beings. Yes. Yeah. So, does it mean that things are always black and white? That every action is either good or bad? Or does it mean that No, I'm actually getting to the very okay. question. I'm sorry. That's very good. That's actually a very intuitive question because a lot of people and a lot of Muslims, they act as if it's either black or white. It's either love or hate, right? But there's something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that, that scholars much later, called something called Masalik al which means deeds and actions that have been, that have not been mentioned. Unmentioned. Masala means unmentioned. Alright? Unmentioned means that there is no specific thing talking about it, but that it's left to man's analogy to the things that we're talking about. Alright? Now that's a little bit philosophical, so I won't get into that right now. Yeah.